What's up? So I wanted to make a video showing people how to get their DualSense controller working with Steam, seeing that it does not work out of the box. Uh, so what you want to start doing is just plug in the controller in. And the funny thing is, Windows recognizes it as an audio device for some reason, so it actually changes your, or at least on my PC, it changes my desktop audio device to the controller. Um, so you want to change that back to whatever you normally have it on, um, just so you can hear your audio. Uh, but what you want to do is open up Steam if it isn't already open, and you can do it through the normal settings, but I'm gonna say let's try it through big picture. I've had a little more reliability with big picture mode, but as you can see, it sort of works, but see how it's skipping like that? For some reason, it just doesn't work correctly. So you're gonna to wanna to use your mouse to actually navigate the menu, but basically, I did that a little fast, but you wanna to go to the settings, which is this little gear. <laughs> Thing, then controller settings, and then down here, wireless controller, that's your dual sense. So you want to click on that, and then it's going to walk you through the process of mapping each button. Uh, so you start with X, circle, triangle, and you know what? I'm going to screw up right here just to show you what you have to do if that happens. So I hit X there, so it blanked out that. So what you want to do is anytime you mess up a button, just click wherever you messed up and then just redo the whole process. X, circle, triangle, square, start, the uh, PlayStation button, share button, L3, R3, L1, R1, up, left, down, right, left stick left or right up or down on the left stick left or right on the right stick up or down on the right stick then left trigger and see this usually happens when you hit the left trigger it'll for some reason it just automatically puts in button six on the right trigger and you don't want that what you want it to say is axis four so what you want to do is double click it and then press the right trigger and hopefully it will say access for and then you can save the config and see I think this is for sharing it so you can for so other people can maybe download it but I'm I'm actually not sure where you would download this so it's I'd say it's easier just to do it yourself although if you happen to know how um to download this stuff i'm just gonna name it dual sense and then put it under generic gamepad and there we go but see here it shows up and okay so it does have the name but from there it will work um oh yeah i think i forgot to mention that for some reason at least on my pc i couldn't get the controller to connect with bluetooth only with USB C. um and uh like to pair any DualShock 4 or DualSense, you hold the PlayStation button and the share button at the same time until it starts flashing. Um, but I just, it didn't work with my PC, so I'm not sure if you can get it working. But as you can see here, I am able to navigate the menus with the controller and play games. I actually played a few hours of Ori in the Blind Forest the other night with it, and I really like the controller. It's really awesome. Uh, for some reason on Steam, though, the vibration doesn't work. Not sure why. Uh, there might be a workaround. I haven't figured it out, but I just wanted to show people how to get the controller working at all. And it does, as you will see when I start playing this game. Uh, another interesting thing is um, before I noticed that Windows sees the controller as an audio device, I started up Doom, and the vibration motors, not the controller speaker, were playing the music in Doom, and you could make it out. It was a little quiet, but you could still hear it. 
and that basically goes to show you how accurate and how detailed the vibration is with this controller that it can reproduce actual music which is just kind of crazy to think about like um i guess it has a high resolution i, I can't think of a another word although resolution is used to describe audio to a certain point but whatever but uh yeah if all you wanted to know is how to get the controller working. You can turn the video off. Uh, subscribe if you want. But uh, in a second, I will start playing and show you that it does in fact work. There we are. I am playing. But yeah, like I was saying, I really like the controller. Uh, the grips are actually a tiny bit narrower, but the controller itself is wider, and it's also angled a little more. Um, Medium right. Than the DualShock 4, because the DualShock 4, the grips are kind of just straight up and down. This is at a little more of an angle, and I actually really like that. Uh, the buttons, I think, feel better. Uh, the bumpers, the R1 and L1 buttons especially feel better. They're also lo uh, larger buttons, so it's easier to hit them. And the sticks seem grippier, but otherwise they actually seem pretty similar. Although there's also uh, a little stiffer, too, which I really like. Although it's hard to tell if it's not just because it's a brand new controller. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I think that's enough. Uh, I know that OBS usually records the gameplay kind of choppy, so it probably wasn't very pr pleasant watching that gameplay. <laughs> Sorry about that, but peace out. I'm done rambling.